Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have another extravagant cake recipe for you guys. This six layer pistachio pomegranate cake will steal any show. I load this cake up with a creamy whipped cream frosting, pomegranate syrup and I top things off with my chocolate pomegranate macarons. I'm going to start things out with my dry ingredients first. Into my food processor I'm going to add one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour half a cup of unsalted pistachios, and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Close this with my lid and then pulse this until I have a fine mixture. I've set aside my dry ingredients and now on to my eggs. I have nine large eggs that I'm going to drop into my mixer bowl. And to that I'm going to add in one cup of white granulated sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now I'm going to whisk the eggs and sugar together on high speed until I have a light and fluffy mixture and the eggs should be white in color. I transferred my egg and sugar mixture into a bowl so you guys could see the volume and the texture that you're going for. And now it's time to add in the dry ingredients. I'm going to sift in the flour and pistachio mixture a little bit at a time and fold gently but thoroughly after each addition. Make sure you're scraping through the bottom of the bowl. And now my cake batter is ready for the oven. I'm using three eight inch rounds today. I've lined the bottom with some parchment paper. Just going to divide the batter evenly between the three pans. And I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The cakes bake for about 20 to 22 minutes or until the top is golden brown and set. While my cake layers are cooling, I'm going to get started on my pomegranate syrup into a small saucepan. I'm going to pour in one and a half cups of pomegranate juice. To that, add half a cup of white granulated sugar and add about a cup and a half of pomegranate seeds. Drop those in. Combine this all together. I'm going to take this over to the stovetop and cook it over medium heat until that syrup is reduced in half. And now onto my cake frosting. Into my mixer bowl, I'm going to add in 12 ounces of softened whipped cream cheese. Drop that right in. And to that, I'm going to add in one cup of softened butter. And now I'm just going to whisk these together on high speed until I have a light and fluffy mixture and make sure to scrape down the sides of the bowl. And now I can add in the rest of my ingredients. I have one cup of sweetened condensed milk. Pour that right in. One and a half cups of cold heavy cream. For a little bit of flavor, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a pinch of salt. And now it's time to bring this all together. I'm going to whisk on medium speed just until everything is combined. You want to be careful not to over mix this filling. I've allowed my cake layers to cool completely and now I'm going to grab a long serrated knife and split each layer in half. So we're going to have a total of six layers. Once you've cooked your syrup and it's reduced in half, you want to let it cool completely. I just put mine over an ice bath and now I'm just going to spoon it over my cake. And then spread on a little bit of that frosting. And repeat the same thing for the next layer. And now all that I have left to do is frost the top and sides of the cake. Pile that frosting on. You'll want to apply two layers of frosting on the outside and now my cake is all set. I'm going to place it into the freezer and allow the frosting on the outside to set up quickly. While my cake is setting in the freezer, I'm going to get started on my ganache. I've heated one third cup of heavy cream in the microwave until it's steaming hot. And to that, I'm going to add in one cup of white chocolate chips. And then I'm going to just stir this around until that chocolate is completely melted. Next, I'm going to drop in some white food coloring. And then add in some red food coloring. 
And now I'm going to pour my glaze over the cake. So I transferred what frosting I had left over from the cake into a little pastry bag and add little dollops right on top and these are going to help keep that macarons in place. Add these adorable chocolate pomegranate macarons to the top. I have some frosting left over from my macarons that I'm going to add here as well. And to finish it off, I'm just going to sprinkle some pomegranate seeds over the top. And look at those delicious layers of goodness. We've got six layers of pistachio sponge cake layered with that delicious cream and pomegranate syrup. And that's it guys for my pistachio pomegranate cake. Once you have the cake all assembled, I do recommend keeping it refrigerated overnight to allow all those layers to set and come together nicely. Now it's time to dig in and give this a try. And this cake looks so good. Six layers of goodness. Mmm. This cake is just, wow, mind-blowingly good. So good, I guarantee you once I'm done filming, I am gonna finish this slice of cake. It is just so darn good. Those pistachio sponge cake layers are just so perfectly combined with that whipped cream frosting, the tart pomegranate syrup, cannot beat the flavors here. If you're looking for a delicious, extravagant cake, you've got to give this one a try. And don't forget to head over and watch the video recipe for my chocolate pomegranate macarons. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe and I'll see you next time.